YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back. Another comparison video for you guys, man. The whole point of my comparison videos is to help you out. I take my older shoes, I compare them to the newer versions, and maybe it can help you out in some form or fashion. Maybe you need a legit check. Maybe you can't decide if you want to cop what's on store shelves now, you'd much rather cop the last time at retro or maybe even the time at retro before that. That's the whole point of my videos, man. I'm doing this for you to help you guys out. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new and follow me on the gram and snap. So this video, I have your Bread 13s. I have your 04, 2013, and 2017. This shoe has only come out four times in its lifetime. So I have three out of the four times they hit release. The first time was in 1998. So when these 04 pair dropped, of course it came in your face box. This box had its four year reign of 2000 to 2004, Jordans came in your face box. And then in 2005, they came in your 2005 box that actually said 2005 on the box right here, man. So, of course, y'all already know about the most recent retro. Like, the one in 2013 came in your black with the white Jumpman box. And then, as of late, Jordan Brand has been trying to go back to its roots and give shoes their original box that they came in when they first released. And in this case, this shoe dropped in 1998. And this most recent gray box is uh, the box that, that they mimic to uh, you know, give a head nod to the original box when these shoes dropped in 1998, man. So maybe you're unsure about a pair that you have. Maybe you bought from somebody that you don't trust. Maybe there's some issues with your shoe that you don't like. This video is for you, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got the up close shots for y'all, man, so y'all can compare yours to mine if you need it, or if y'all just wanna decide if you wanna cop what's on store shelves right now, or go on eBay, some local consignment shop, StockX, or GOAT to, to try to cop the last time a shoe retro, man. That's the whole point of my videos. The whole point of me making comparison videos, man. I'm doing this for you, and I appreciate y'all watching. No doubt. Let's go ahead and cut to the table, man. I'm going to do my little behind the camera talk, and I'll give up close of all these joints, man. And I'll see y'all in a minute, all right? Let's do that joint. And the box's retail price back in 2004 was $150. Black True Red in 2013 is $170. Black Varsity Red White in 2017 is $190. Black True Red White. The style codes are the same on your 2013 and 2017, but the color codes are different. The style code and color code is completely different on your 04, as y'all can see there, 309-259-061. You have to go up to the toe boxes. At first glance, they all pretty much look the same. We could get a little bird's eye. If you look down, they all have a kind of a tumbled leather toe. That stays consistent throughout all the, all the years. The shoestrings are the same material, same thickness on all three releases. Go up to the Jumpman. Y'all can see the lower quality stitching craftsmanship on the 04 version. Slight butt crack. On 2013, it starts to get better with the stitching. Slight butt crack. And on your 2017, no butt crack and the stitching craftsmanship is a lot better than previous years. You see there's still perforated holes on the tongue on all three. And all three of them have that middle stitch going across that I'll show. Right there, that stitch there is consistent on all three pairs. And behind the Jordan tag is a white number 13 on the 2017 version. It is a dark gray 13 on the 2013 version. And there is nothing on the back of the tag of your 04 version, as y'all can see right there. And here are the outsides of all three shoes, going 04, 13, 17. As y'all can see, the red is darker on 04 and brightens up as it goes up to 2017. If you go in closer on the mesh side with the indentions here, the stitching isn't as noticeable in each indention on the 04 pair. Roll to the 2013 pair. 
Y'all can see these stitching starts to show up a little bit more as far as the inside of each indention. 2017's pair, it really shows up really well, the stitching inside of each indention there. It really shows up really well on your 2017 version. Behind this mesh is a 3M reflective material on your 2017 version, which stays true to the OG. On your 2013 version, this did not have any reflective material behind it at all. This is simply white stitching. And your 04 pair also stayed true to the OG and, and it has your 3M reflective material behind the mesh on here as well. If you look here, the separation between the midsole and the sole itself is not really noticeable on your 04 pair. Go to your 2013, you see? Y'all can really see the separation here from midsole to sole on your 13 pair. Nice little line there. And the same for 2017 as well. It also has a nice separation between midsole and sole as well. Here's the inner side of all three shoes. The details pretty much stay consistent with the outer. But if you go to where the carbon fiber peaks, starting with your 04, the white dots are small on the 04 version and the carbon fiber smooth. Go up to your 2013 release, the white dots are a little bit bigger and it is a more rough carbon fiber. Y'all can hear that? And go up to your 2017, the dots are smaller than your 13 but bigger than your 04 and it's back to smooth carbon fiber on your 2017 release. And here's the back of all three shoes. They're pretty much the same height and width. I've worn the 04 pair a lot, so it's a little bit wider. The 13 and 17 pair I've never worn. As far as the inner lining that folds out onto the back of the shoe, it's shorter and a half circle on your 04 pair. It is longer and boxes out on your 13 and your 17 pair, which y'all can see really well right there. If I go down to the back of the 04, it's kind of a butt crack indention. Go to 2013, it's a fingerprint style indention. The same as your 17 pair. It's a more noticeable in your 13, as y'all can see, side by side really well right there. If you go to the interior of all three, they all have the same ankle thickness and tongue thickness. The size tag is on the back of all three. So that stays consistent. And as far as the interior, they all have black insoles with red jump in. And I'm surprised that my 04 pair still has an intact Jumpman because I've worn these joints a lot. And everybody's favorite, the bottoms. They all stay consistent with the white traction pods and the middle area being red. And they all have your carbon fiber in the same spot with your Jumpman hologram also in the same spot. Only difference is here, of course, is the size of your carbon fiber dots, 04, 13, 17 and of course the red hologram that used to be red on your 2004 release but as y'all can see it has completely faded that red out Jumpman is still very noticeable though and we'll slide over to the 13 and the 2017 nice rich ruby red and here's a good shot of all three holograms and the cutouts going around the holograms y'all can see the cutout is bigger on your 17 pair closer on your 13 pair and bigger again on your 04 pairs y'all can see here the spacing between the hologram and the stitching here go to your 13 and your 17 you see the hologram is still nice and clear no issues whatsoever and they both still have that little plastic cover on both and you go to your 04 pair 13 year old hologram is extremely fogged out i know there are ways to unfog it but i wanted to give y'all that raw uncut 2004 release of the bread 13 to make you decide if you want to go cop a 04, a 13, or a 17 version, man. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you out in any way as far as comparing yours to someone else's or legit checks or anything, man. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Hi, right, YouTube. Welcome back, man. Those of y'all ride with me for a minute, y'all already know what's next. Which one you rocking? 04, 13, 17. Let me know in the comments, man, which one you're rocking with. Let me know if this video helped you out in any shape, form, or fashion whatsoever. 
This is a perfect video for the Bread 13s right now because the 2017 version is still sitting on shelves right now. So you can probably still cop them on sale. They're still sitting online. They're very available. So if you just couldn't decide if you want to go back in the past and go to some consignment shop or eBay or something, you don't necessarily need to because the 2017 version is a very, very nice version to have, man. So maybe you were on the fence, but maybe not anymore. I got y'all, man. That's the whole point of my videos is to help you out. I'm doing this shit for y'all, man. So I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. My next comparison vids will probably be the New Love Ones from 08 versus 2017, or maybe the Coppers from 09 versus 2017. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet what my next video is going to be. But y'all let me know what y'all want to see in general from me down in the comments, man. And I'll see y'all next vid. You can't just say you real. It's something you got to be. <laughs> All right, now. Easy. So, as we know, these first came out in 98 as far as this color, right? Well, before that, the first Jordan 13 color to ever come out was the Heat Gat Game. This dropped in 97. This is back when Jordan was actually obviously wearing them. But yeah, here's your Heat Gat Game 13s, white and black, dope as hell. 